Like it's, it looks like we didn't quite charge it up as much as we should have, but that's okay. We'll take care of it. Or at least worse than we know. <laughs> but yeah, it was like that since we did so. Like I, don't, I really, I have no reason to believe that it lost any of the charge. So it is actually a pretty qu relatively quiet runner, though. Yeah, it is. So it's, yeah, it's already got condensate coming out down there. That's one of the ones I took the drainage to and built a uh, little dam around. I walked by, I think, uh, 30 times before. There was 8 feet on the same color. Yeah, that's something. You never, yeah, I remember you saying that. You walked yeah. by it like uh, the, night, the Yeah, we're talking about the uh, 1948. You can't see it because I guess uh, my saw. And some cheap speakers in the way, but there's a 1948 Philco York that you guys are probably all familiar with by now over there. That was in a building in Pittsburgh that he's been going to for years and never noticed it until he wanted to give it to you. Is that right? Yeah, it was eight feet off and it was painted the exact same color as the roof, so you just never noticed it. <laughs> Gotta love it. But that's good to show you, like I said, about that 1952 era uh, quiet heat in Pottsville. It's right on the main street on Center Street, you can't see it because it's mounted on the third floor. The only way you can see it is to get up on top, uh, into Wells Fargo building where this unit was and look over and see it. That's a uh, Hot Point Fashion Air and a 1953 carrier. Like I said, everything's on wheels. Don't be shy. Act like you own the place. If you want to pull it out and check it out, do it. <laughs> Thinks about what we're gonna do for now. He's doing shit with his gauges. Uh, I'll get another video and we'll uh, I'll just combine them and make one big one for this admiral here at the end of the night. Dude, I, I, I honestly I love the made though. All right, so wait, since we're uh, boosting this up a little bit, it's definitely a lot, definitely a lot colder. I can't. What do you think of the air coming out? I mean, it feels a lot. It feels a little bit. It feels chillier. Oh, I like your cold, good cold. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty-five. All right, so now we actually appear to have pretty relatively even temps throughout, which is good. What kind of temp are we getting out of it? So it's blowing out air that's roughly fifty-five degrees, and the ambient temp in here is roughly seventy-eight. 76. Yeah, it's a little warm out yet. So. so, yeah, we're getting 53, 52. They are blowing pretty cool. So, let's say, let's say with uh, Kenny here and Matt, and, uh, yeah, we're just doing some updates here. Yeah, 115 relatively throughout on the back, so we're getting real, we're getting even temps on both the evaporator and the condenser coils. See how the AJ compressor is doing. Yeah, I did take the air. 
tire hangs out or not. So yeah, we're getting there. Anyway, that's about all we uh, got for now. Uh, have an update when we get it put back in. We'll check it out. Thanks for watching.